All right, today we're gonna to play around with Lens Studio's snap function so that we can freeze the camera frame. Okay, so we got a brand new Lens Studio project here, and what I wanna show you is, a lot, of, a lot of times lately I've wanted to cut a piece out of the camera frame, okay? And it tends to be like a little bit complicated, and let me show you why. So the first thing that you'd think that you could do is like put a plane with a, um, uh, screen UV shader and cut it out that way. But let me show you why that doesn't work. So if we add a new plane and then we can add, let's go a new uh, unlit graph on our plane. Let's put this unlit graph material and then let's open this up in the material editor. Okay, so let's delete all this crap and let's just give it a 2D texture parameter. So we can, let's see, we can drag this in here. And then on our unlit graph, we're going to just feed this the camera device texture. And then you can see that this isn't gonna match up because UVs don't match up. Okay, so how do we fix that? If we go back to the material editor, um, you can do custom UV chords and we can put in the screen UV chords and then we're actually not gonna be able to see anything because it's gonna look invisible. So let's multiply this by a color just so we can visualize it here. Just go light green, okay. Cool. Okay, so you can see we have this here, but the problem is, um, you know, when you move this, it's still a live camera view. So what I thought we could do was, okay, let's add another camera and then just pause that camera. So that would look like this. So you add another camera and then we can add another render target. And then this camera, we would give it this render target two. And then on our, sorry, unlit graph, we could put this render target instead of the device camera texture, which looks like it does the same thing, but we could effectively turn this camera off now, which pauses that texture. And then you'd think we'd, oh, we're good. Now we can just move this plane around and we have our piece of the camera view, but that does not work because the uh, shader on this plane still uses the screen UV chords. So this is why we need snaps snap function. This projects screen positions from the camera's view onto the mesh's UVs. So let's get that set up now because I really couldn't find any good documentation on how to use that. These are clicks down on the screen. We're going to use the snap function to freeze the mesh's UVs. So let's get this second camera out of here and let's delete our other material that we did. We can probably delete these textures too. And let's just create um, unlit material and put this on our plane. Let's reactivate it here. So we should just have this white plane. Now let's create a new script and open this up. Now the first thing we wanna do is create a uh, touch started event. So let's create event, and this is going to be touch start event. And we're gonna bind that to touch started. Cool, make a new function called touch started. And let's just make sure this is working. So let's print here and let's test this out. So let's drag this script onto our plane. And when we click, we should see here in the console, beautiful. Now we're gonna need three things to make this work. We're gonna need a renderer, we're gonna need a reference to the camera, and a reference to our camera device texture. So let's first go at input component dot render mesh visual. We'll just call this rend. And then let's do the same thing for uh, the camera. And we'll just call this cam. And let's do the same thing for the camera device texture, but that's going to be an asset. And that is a texture asset. And we'll just call this cam text. So what we're gonna do here on touch started, we're going to um, copy the frame from the camera device texture and apply it to the render mesh visual. And then we're just gonna call this snap function on that render mesh visual. So let's do script.rend.mainpass base text equals script uh, cam text, and then we're gonna do copy frame. So that gets us the snapshot of the camera device texture onto our renderer, and then all we have to do is script.rend.snap, and then that takes in the camera. So we'll just pass in cam, and that should be all we need to do. So now let's drag in our references. So renderer, we want this render mesh visual here, so let's drag that in. Camera, we want main cam, let's drag that in here. And then uh, cam text, we can just go here and choose camera device texture. So now when we click, we should get a snapshot and beautiful. We can move it around and that is exactly what we wanted there. 
Now, one use case that I really like for this is obviously doing this on the face. So let's add a face mesh. And there is one little gotcha here that I want to show you. So let's add a face mesh. Let's actually copy this component, delete this plane. Let's paste the component there, but we still need the renderer because it's a new render mesh visual. So let's drag that in. And then um, face mesh default material, let's change this to our unlit material. And if you click here, you'll see that this is not what we want and I have no idea why. But luckily for my use case, I had to actually modify Snap's um, face mesh so that I could like pull the face apart to do that effect that you saw in the intro. So that's the only reason that I really found this, to be honest. Um, but if we go to the face mesh documentation, uh, face effects face mesh, you can see at the very bottom of the screen, you can download the face mesh 3D model. So let's bring that into Lens Studio now. I think that's face mesh OBJ. Let's drag this in. And then on our face mesh, we're just going to replace this. So let's put resource in for face mesh. So yeah, now we have this face mask that you can click and freeze your face and you can pull this face mask mask off. What another funny thing I was thinking of doing was like, I think it'd be really cool to like make a face, pause it, and then like use your hand to pull the face mask down or something like that. I don't know. I feel like there's a lot of different things that could be done with this. So yeah, if you guys have any other ideas, definitely let me know in the comments and maybe we could do something uh, with this in a future video. But um, I also put, uh, if you want to go to our GitHub, I put that uh, project from the intro up on the GitHub, Third Aurora uh, repositories, and it's called Dead Inside, I believe. Yeah, Dead Inside, and this is the exact lens that I used uh, in the intro of the video, so you guys can download that and play around if you want. But yeah, that's it. That's all I got for today, so let me know in the comments what you guys want to see in the next video. Peace.